they even asked me, Jim Leonard himself said, stop the stalker. So I was always keeping an eye on her social media activity, Vanessa's. And I remember the day my friends and I came across the fact that Carrie Ann was following Vanessa and Vanessa was following Carrie Ann and Carrie Ann was actually liking her posts. So I text those in April of 2023 to Teresa and I was shocked. I was like, wow, like someone on the inside here with us in this camp is talking to the so-called enemy. And I remember I showed it to her. She immediately called Jim Leonard. She was on the phone with him for some time. She texted me while she was on the phone. Thanks for showing me on with Jim. Call you right back. I didn't get a call from her that afternoon. It was Jim Leonard who reached right out immediately. Like I think maybe 15 minutes after I text Teresa that Carrie Ann info. And he went in on me. He yelled at me. He told me never to send her anything about Carrie Ann again. Who do I think I am? Like pretty much mind your business. You just got here. Leave Carrie Ann alone. And at the time I didn't understand why he wasn't mad that someone was talking to the enemy. But now that I see things clear, Carrie Ann was concerned. Here came Louie and disrupted everything. He, I mean, I just shared, I just tweeted flashback Friday, a clip of your podcast, David, where you guys talk about Louie and Dirty John and Carrie Ann getting fired by Louie behind the scenes and how he came in and disrupted the house and was pushing everyone aside, manipulating Teresa. Like that's what he was doing. Carrie Ann, I understand now was concerned because he is a dirty John and she was worried because she genuinely cared for Teresa. So I don't have, I mean, now I don't, I see it clear. She was concerned and I give her kudos for that. She really did care about Teresa and she was worried because Louie is a red flag. But back then when I was in the team, I was just like, wow, what a bitch. Why is she talking to Vanessa? Um, anyway, so fast forward to the trial, which took place in summer into fall of last year of 2023, uh, while they were on the stand, you know, they were drilling Vanessa, asking questions. And throughout the trial, it was admitted that Carrie Ann as well was talking with Vanessa. So again, you know, when we see them gripe on Margaret, I just don't understand. Then why, why, why aren't you guys mad that Carrie Ann was talking to her, but I'm pretty sure Jim Leonard spinned it to Teresa and said, Hey. We needed a set of eyes inside, like same with Kim D, same with Kim D. I know when they recruited Kim D, I mean, I remember him texting me and telling me we need to flip her. We need to, she needs to shut up. We cannot have her talking about Louie anymore. This is not good for Teresa. So I remember when they were trying to get her to flip, they were like, she has eyes on the other side, meaning with Joe Gorga, with the Fudas, with Margaret. She gets tea from them. She gets information. Like Jim was so sure that Kim D was connected to the other side and got all this tea, but mainly they wanted to silence her. So again, they were going to use her. So I'm pretty sure Kim, just like Carrie Ann, you know, the way Jim Leonard sells it, the story to Teresa for her to be cool with it. Because at the end of the day, I know Teresa loves Carrie Ann, but Teresa hates Kim. She told me on several occasions, she can't stand her. I mean, she, I remember she told me nobody would ever have believed that Joe Judais cheated on me if Kim didn't say it. And she said it and, and Kim did. She said it on your pot all the time. So, you know, it's, it's all so twisted. I love that my pod is being retweeted. So thank you. And reused. Yeah, I mean, well, also, you know, listen, and I'm not taking sides. I just don't understand how all season Teresa has been saying there's going to be this big reveal and she's going to be vindicated. I feel the same way you did. Like, doesn't everyone in the world know that Margaret was talking to Vanessa? Like, I mean, good, bad, whatever that is. Don't we like, don't we already know that? Like, this is the big reveal. I mean, yeah. I, I knew that. Doesn't everyone listening to this know that? I mean, they thought, they thought this was going to be like the big scene where the whole world would be convinced that Louis is a good guy. Margaret just put a target on his back and utilized an ex and her slander to dirty up the guy's image. But here's the thing. I mean, that would land. I guess they could get away with it and change people's perspective on Louis if the allegations were not real. <laughs> but Everything the ex and the public has posted, including court records showing that he has given women black eyes, that he's pushed them off golf course, golf carts, sorry, 
that he has had road rage incidences. I mean, the warrior video with him wearing no shirt, like it, the list goes on and on and on. And all of, I mean, let's not even get into the fraud that has taken place in his history. If none of that was true and it was all hearsay and there was no receipts, maybe they could actually use that scene that we're going to see tonight at her house with her lawyer explaining to the cast members that Margaret Josephs and Joe Gorga were talking to Vanessa. Maybe they could get away with it and change, you know, the public opinion on Louie. But the thing is, like, that's not going to vindicate you, sweetheart. We see him for who he is. We know you're blinding yourself to reality because you just hate to be proven wrong. I mean, it, and that's what's really scary here, too, if you think about it. Teresa will never own who Louie really is because she has to prove others right. Like she, she has, I mean, others wrong. Sorry. Did I say that wrong? It's been a long week. She has to, I, I'm exhausted. Just tell me yeah. about it. Um, uh, so she, she's, she's going to like keep her foot on that ground and just, you know, say, nope, I don't care what anyone tells me. I don't believe it. Da, 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 da. He's my soulmate, my Prince Charming. And you guys are just haters. And then her famous line. This is just happening to poor Louie because he's with Teresa Judice. This is just because he's dating someone famous. I mean, even when Andy I was just talking to a girlfriend about this during season 11's reunion, Andy was like, so Teresa, remember when they brought everyone pineapple drinks at the end of the reunion and Louie walks out and gives her a kiss? Yeah. Okay, during season 11, when we first got a glimpse of Louie, I remember during that reunion, Andy had production showing article clippings of Kim D talking shit about Louie, about him having a, a violent past. And he was looking dead at Teresa and said, does this not worry you? Are you not concerned? And she's like, no, it's just happening because he's with me. And then he's like, okay, well, another article came out today. He doubled down and he's like, how do you feel about this? I don't even pay attention, Andy, because everyone's just trying to come for him because he's with me. So it doesn't really matter, you know, what you say, just like the tree huggers. I could show them a video of Teresa telling me she wants to take down Margaret or telling me that her nephew is not her brother's son. They still wouldn't believe it. They're in denial. It's insane. So, well, that's what I said, because I am doing a whole hour this week on this statement of hers. And I said, and we won't get into it because it's like I really break it down, but I never would have made this statement or any like with me. If you say bad things about me, I would never address it because that's the thing. Like this statement did nothing. The tree huggers feel one way and the people that don't like her feel another way. This statement changed nothing. But the more you talk, this is why the show is going away. Bye bye. bye. So anyone that's yeah. doing a podcast and talking about how here's the future of R.H.O.N.J., they're either delusional, paid by Jim and Teresa, or just paid by Jim and Teresa, because it is going away. Bye-bye to R-H-O-N-J, as we know it. Period. 